Hi, I'm Jason Dorfling. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the basics of space planning, where we will focus on the gondola, fixtures and products. Let's get started. Click on Space Planning, then select New Gondola. This is the Gondola Properties page, and here you can change the height, width, depth, and many more fields about your gondola. Let's call this My Planner, and change its width to 3 meters. Here's a tip. Clicking on the unit of measure in the dimensions box can change the unit of measure used. Now, click on the Segments tab in the Segment section. Select the current measurement and click Remove. Enter your new segment width and then click Add. Next, click on the Gondola Attributes tab. Now we can set the dimensions of the gondola base to 3 meters as well. Now that we have set up our gondola, click OK. You will now see that the shelves do not match the size of your gondola. First, let's align the second segment of shelves by highlighting them and shifting them to the second segment. To add additional shelves, you can click on the right arrow under Add or Remove section. This will copy all highlighted fixtures to the right. To do bulk changes to fixtures, use the Fixture Report by clicking on Reporting, then select the Fixture Report. Now you can enter the correct width for the shelf and copy to all. You can also edit fixtures by double-clicking on them. The next thing we need to do is add products. The fastest and easiest way to do this is using the Excel template, as shown in the Get Started video. If your product is not in your template, you can add it by clicking on the shelf you want to add the product to, then click on SKU in the New section, type the barcode in, then click Add. Repeat this for each of the SKUs you want added, then click OK. You will see a product properties page. You can either fill out the product's information there or do it later on. Click OK. Another way to add products to the planogram is to simply connect a USB barcode scanner. Click on the shelf and scan the product. Now that we have added our products, we can edit them by double clicking on them. Here we can change details such as dimensions, descriptions, hierarchies, etc. This information can also be edited in bulk in the product report. You can get to this by clicking on Reporting, then selecting Product Report. Here's a tip. If you delete a product from your planogram, you can find it in your product report and simply drag it back onto your planogram. To change your product's orientation, simply select a product or group of products. Then, using the orientation controls in the ribbon, you can change it to front, side, top, or even tilt the product. To add or remove facings, use the arrow buttons in the Add or Remove section. Here's a tip. You can also change the number of facings of selected products by simply pressing the number on your keypad that is the number of facings you want. Adding images to your products is really easy. First, you will need to turn on images to see if any images are available by clicking on the Images button in the ribbon. Then, go to your Windows Explorer and find the JPEG image of the product you now want to add. Simply drag and drop this image onto your product. Now, the next time you use this product on any other planogram, the image will be there and ready for use. Happy space planning and thanks for watching.